Why play Malphite top? Well, he has amazing engage, he hard counters a lot of top laners, he's a great team fighter, and he has brilliant point and click poke. However, he doesn't do as well against AP champions, and you are very reliant on getting a good ultimate to start fights. Malphite's passive gives him a shield when he's not been damaged for a small time. Malphite's Q is his bread and butter. It's a point and click lock on ability which sends out a wheel which will deal damage and steal movement speed. So as they get slowed, Malphite is sped up. Malphite's W firstly has a passive where he gains armor, and he gains even more armor when his passive shield is up. The active is is an auto attack reset which makes his next attack deal a large amount of damage, and then all other attacks for 5 seconds will deal additional damage. Also, it makes Malphite's auto attacks have a titanic hydra like splash effect. Malphite's E slams the ground dealing damage and reducing the attack speed of all enemies in an area around him. This attack speed slow can be crippling against AD carries. And finally, Malphite's ultimate dashes him to an area dealing a large amount of damage and knocking up and stunning all enemies hit. Also, Malphite cannot be interrupted when casting his ult. For Malphite's combo, start with ult and press E which will go off when you land, then simply auto into W and auto into Q using the speed up to get out. For masteries, this page makes your Q poke incredible and gives you the mana you need. Otherwise, go for this to make yourself even tankier. For build order, start Shield Pot or Corrupting Potion. Buy an early tier before building tier 2 boots, Frozen Fist, and Fimble Winter. After this, build these if you need armor, these if you need magic resist, and this if you want a little bit of damage. For skill order, start Q, then W, then E, before maxing Q, then E, then W, taking ult whenever you can. For summoners, take Flash and Teleport. Starting the laning phase, you will have very little mana. You haven't got any mana flow, biscuit delivery, or your tier yet. So at this early point, focus on farming and poke with your Q every time it will proc mana flow. After your first back, you'll have proc mana flow a lot, you'll be able to buy a tier, and you'll have eaten some biscuits, so you can absolutely obnoxiously spam them with Qs at every opportunity now. When you have 3 points in Q at level 5, combined with Comet and Scorch, you will be absolutely chunking them, and there's not much they can do because stealing their speed means an easy walk away for you. Make sure to use your passive shield when looking for trades, your Q easily gets you on top of your opponent, and if you get your auto attack into W you resets off with your E for additional damage, it can absolutely chunk people and help you get early kills. However, as Malphite, you don't even need to go for these chase down kills, just keep on farming and poking away. In the mid game, Malphite is absolutely fine as a split pusher, but more importantly, he's very good at stopping split pushers, especially when he has teleport available to get into a fight if you need to. If you're not split pushing or stopping a split push, make sure you're there for every objective. Your ultimate simply wins fights, which wins objectives, which wins games. And as always, keep an eye out for isolated targets. Your full combo does a huge amount of CC as well as a huge amount of damage early, and allows easy follow up from your team to get these kills. A late game Malphite will live and die by his ultimate. Look for multi-person knockups where your team can follow up. If this is done well, you'll win fights for your team before they've even started. However, if your opponents flash or you just hit some tanks, it makes the fight far less certain. So the most important thing is never force and engage. Wait for your opponents to stack before engaging, or if they engage on you, look for a good ultimate in the chaos of battle. Afterwards, queue anything you want slowed and W and E as many targets as you can.